Falcons out there. Let's get some Skrillex on. This one goes out to all you out there who are requesting it. And let's get that going. As we do wait for this game to begin, it will be on the ESL's version of TSL Terminus SE. Not sure why it's SC instead of RE, but uh, yeah, it's it will be that anyway. There is uh, There were some changes here. If we take a look at it, there are rocks on the third lower, so you can break down those rocks and get right into the back of that third lower expansion. We'll see if that actually comes into play on this. The countdown has begun. Let's get going. Imba TV bringing you more action right to your face bones. All right, so let's get ready for Imba TV as we continue to bring you these finals. It is best of five. Die Star currently sitting on one. Big sitting on two. We're in game number four. And Die Star needs to win this one to tie this up and bring us into a fifth game. Thanks again, everybody, for joining us. We're glad to have you here on this awesome day of 420 Wednesday. We've got Die Star spawning over here in the 9 o'clock position as the Purple Terran. And over here across the map in cross positions is uh, is Biggs spawning as the yellow Zerg. Let's switch that overlay up. Let's get everything kosher here. Let's get it all going right. And Fire Silver, why don't you bring us into it? I've got to use the restroom. Uh, okay then, so we have, uh, as you said, Dice Star spawning over on the left side and Biggs as the yellow Zerg spawning over on the right side of the map. So it will be uh, cross positions on GSL Terminus SE but I probably call it German, Terminus Ari just because I'm used to saying it. And, uh, you know, this game, is spe this map especially, is where I see most of the most epic games ever done in tournaments, so I'm hoping to see one here. Uh, the scores are tied at 2 2, I believe. So this will be the final game of the season, if anyone. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think it is 2 2. Um, and Dice Star is going to make his supply depot at the wall, and it looks like he will be opting to wall off once again. But no, he is going to place his barracks slightly further back now. And uh, it looks like Biggs is going to scout at 9 very, very early. Uh, and Biggs is going to keep droning up now, going to see what he's going to be doing. He has hit 15 supply, and we still have not seen a spawning pool laid down as of yet. And there goes that drone at 220 minerals down to the natural. So we could be seeing a 15 hatch, the usual Biggs opener. And there is the hatchery, a 15 hatch. Meanwhile, Dice Star is completing up his barracks now and is getting a refine, uh, yeah, refinery. So he's getting that gas after the barracks. Will not be getting it before the barracks. So no fast factory coming as of yet. But Biggs is still droning up by the looks of it. He's getting a spawning pool now at 15 supply, and maybe we'll see a gas soon, like we saw last game, getting all of his early tech structures very, very soon. And a big thanks to Choco correcting me it is 1 2 to Biggs. So Biggs is a one game ahead. If Biggs wins this, he will win the series. Dice Star has to win the next two games to win this series. So right. we're getting very, very close to the finals. Big thanks to Choco for that. Um, but yeah, it seems like Biggs doing his normal opener a 15 hatch, 14 pool, and then a 14 gas to top it all off, getting all of these structures he needs to, you know, thrust himself into the mid game. And I am back, as you heard me say, that's right. And we've got Biggs throwing down that expansion. And like you said, normal build from Biggs. And uh, it looks like a looks like a double. Oh, no, no. Uh, it is a normal build here for, uh, for Die Star as well. He is throwing down that second refinery and going for that factory right now. And look at this. Look at this wall off he's got going on. Quite the soft wall of Marines. He's not. He's not afraid of any type of uh, any type of early aggression. Apparently, and Dice Star stealing some mm -hmm. minerals. That thief! I know it. I, we haven't seen that in ages, and it seems like it has become the meta game once again. And Dice Star running away with it, and these Zerglings, like the police, are going to chase this down. They're not going to let this thiefery go un. Are punished and they will chase him back and I mean man that's gonna deny one ultralisk from spawning and I I don't know if this is gonna happen it looks like he's gonna get away with it Duffs this is a huge setback in the early game yeah you know uh, 
We'll see, man. We'll see. Metabolic speed boost on the way out for Biggs. It looks like the very norm, the very same Biggs build that we've seen in the past few. Will he tech up fast like he does in every game? Probably. I wouldn't doubt it here. Four Marines moving forward. Going to take out that Zergling. And I like the map awareness so far by Biggs. He's keeping the Zer Zerglings on the Zelnaga Watchtowers. That's a great 50 mineral spent right there. And it looks like, uh, and yeah, you know. With that being said, we do see the ignite pre-igniter going down. Same type of build by Dystar, uh, but without the second factory, he's actually going for that early second racks instead of going for the early second factory, even though he is going with the pre-igniter and only tech labs as expansion base here, Fire Silver. Yeah, definitely. Slightly delaying that expansion. Um, but again, a Hellion open, as you said, he likes these Hellion stuffs. He loves the map control and I think he loves roasting drones. It wouldn't surprise me. Yep. But Biggs does have his third queen now on the field. Two spine crawlers up, so he's expecting some sort of aggression. Um, I don't think he has actually seen uh, any of the factories, and no, he hasn't. Neither has he seen the Hellions as of yet. He has only seen five Marines on the field. Um, so he's trying to get some defense up, but this map's going to be extremely easy for Biggs to take a fast third down at this small uh, expansion. It does have only five mineral patches, but uh, oh wait, it's not a high yield vest being geyser. That must be the GSL version only. Yes, that is, that is right. It is that is not the high yield vest pane. I usually like to click on them when I see this map just to make sure I'm right. And uh, I did go <laughs> through that with Endry before as well. Um, we are seeing the Zerglings now sent back because they see the Hellions, they see the Marines, and they don't want a piece of that because these Hellions are blue flamers, and those blue flames will tear apart Big's Marine. Er, Marines, Zerglings here. Now we do see Biggs with that second queen as well as getting these uh, spine crawlers well positioned into that choke. And uh, man, it looks like Biggs is actually going for that third extractor. And here comes the push. A bunch of Marines and a bunch of Hellions moving forward. When I say a bunch, that's four Hellions. And it looks like four Marines and five Marauders. This is a mean, mean timing push. One base timing push from Diestar. He wants to force the win now. Let's see what happens as Diestar moves these Marauders or these Fire Bears right into battle. And these Spine Crawlers will start to poke away at what's going on. Yeah, I think he's going to be fine, though. I mean, he can transfuse those. Will he get the transfuse Ooh, off? Yes. One of oh, them. He goes down way too fast to Marauders. That's right. Those rip through. And these Marauders do have Stimpak and Concussive Shells, folks, because there was the double uh, there was the double Tech Labs that were down, so he was able to upgrade both of them at the same time. And look at this. These Lings picking apart at the Marauders. The Hellions doing massive damage. The Queen's doing massive damage as well. And... Uh, these queens having to back off into their base as we, he waits for 16 more zerglings to come out. These zerglings have the metabolic speed boost, and we do see a spire already coming down by Biggs. Biggs loves his early, early uh, high uh, high tier play, and we just have a few. Oh, nice transfusion going down, but a little bit of baiting as well as that queen does get taken out. The queen is left here forever alone. A little bit of a sad face on that queen as it moves to the back of that mineral line. Another queen is on the way out. More zerglings are on the way out as well. Let's see how many mutilists will he be able to pull out. It looks like about 900 mutilists will, or 900, about nine mutilists will be able to pu uh, pump out of these hatcheries. Five of them going down right now, and that queen gets taken out, and these drones are smartly moving back into the main base here. As these Hellions are getting the line up here, taking out drone after drone, the queen is here, and that queen is going to go down very soon, and here come seven mutilists. Let's see what happens when they pop. Oh, there's no air here. Die Star, you've got no Marines. These mutas have free reign. The Glaive Worm is all over your Marauder's face. What are you going to do? Take out more drones. That's what it looks like. Let's see what the drone worker count is. It looks like 22 workers have been taken out so far by Die Star right now, and he has actually killed 96, uh, 96 different units there as he did a very, very aggressive timing push. But you know what? Biggs was able to survive that timing push, keeping his expansion as well and getting those mutilists out. And let's take a look. 24 drones as of now, only 28 SCVs here for uh, Die Star. So Die Star has limited the numbers of the drones by Biggs, but the fact is there's little anti-air here there's no anti-air in the natural expansion area so it looks like this uh this you know command center will start to take some licks from those glaive worms 
Yeah, but having that missile turret there will save them and will those four marines will be able to deter them as he is moving uh, out with a SCV to build a missile turret. So just as Protoss likes to get a pile at the end of the ramp, Dice Star wants a missile turret. But these mutants are going to be able to force this command center to once again move back. <laughs> and look and, at oh. that! <laughs> right at the end of it, it has one second, one th from finishing, dude, and it just gets taken out like it's yesterday's garbage. We are seeing the uh, bigs <laughs> throw down more, or throw down the upgrades for the Mutalist. Flyer attack level one on the way. Baneling Ness coming out as well. He's going for the Zergling Muta Baneling combo here. The Blingling Mute. As, uh, as we get for, uh, further and further into this game, we see more Marines now coming out from Star as he does need those Marines for the Mutalist play. He can no longer go into the Fire Bear play or the, the Marauder play anyway. I just like calling them Fire Bears because they're huge and they've got rockets attached to their uh, freaking hands. I want to see some Fire Bats. Fire Bats, My you know, I, I would love to see, I would cry if I saw some Fire Bats. Cry out of enjoyment, of course. Maybe out of fear no, if I'm fighting. Yeah, yeah, maybe out of fear if that anyway. Blue flame fire bats. Okay, we'll get back into this ra this game that's actually going on <laughs> right now. We've got a Bane League speed on the way right now, as well as the third base going down. Now in this lower third, keep in mind there are only five mineral nodes and one uh, one vast bane geyser. So uh, with that being said, it's not the highest point of interest, but it is a very safe expansion, and it's always something to go for. Now we see Biggs getting more and more of these mutilists out. A mass a number of 11 mutilists. They do have flyer attack level 1 already out and it looks like they're going to do a little bit of poking. They're going to see what's going on. They're going to be able to take out this turret in about 3 or 4 shots. They do so. Here comes the Thor, the boss of the mutilists taking out a few mutilists, taking out a mutilist, and those mutilists will pull off and we see Biggs going for an even bigger creep spread as well as throwing down the double Evo chamber. Yeah, definitely going to get those double upgrades out very, very fast then. Now it looks like he has the economy supported, but this late from Biggs is really late, Doffs. Not sure why he took so long to get it, as he, you know, he knew with the Mutalisks he had map control, and you know, Dice Star wasn't able to do anything about it. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he tried to go for some sort of ninja fourth very, very soon. But it seems like Dice Star is going to move out here whilst taking his own third expansion. Um, as that will be the most ideal time to take it, and he does have five or six SCVs with this Thor ready to repair it. And these are going to clear out all the Zelnaga watchtowers. And now panic mode for Biggs as he does morph into more Bane Links. Um, he is getting the plus one attack and plus one armor Karaspace uh, Karas now. And <laughs> Karas a lot of big tumors here. Awesome. Hey man, <laughs> I ain't Blizzard. I get you, I get you. But these Mutalists <laughs> are pu pushing into the natural expansion area, taking out some of those, uh, taking out some of those Marines, taking out those turns. The Thor is here to try to thwart, uh, thwart off the attack, and that's exactly what's happening now. Biggs is. Put, pulling back into his base because he is going out to defend as a couple Thors are knocking at his front door saying let me in I'm going to take down the rest of your forces hey nerd get me back into the fight <laughs> as the main links do run away oh did manage to split them but magic box oh but there are is that a ghost or was that a marine walking strangely it seems to be a marine walking strangely um, and those overlords going to take a few hits from those Ooh, I don't doors. know. This push looks so mean, and I don't think uh, it doesn't look like you know Biggs has the uh, opportunity to be able to take it out. He only has a few mutas left, and he has uh, a bunch of zerglings coming out. Banelings moving forward as well. He is going to do some damage, but he's going to have to pull all the drones off the line. And holy crap! Look at all those drones that just got nuked by those blue flamers. A big line of drones there. Let's take a look. 36 drones left only for Biggs, but Biggs has still more drones than the SCVs of Dystar. Dystar is continuing to push forward, spent, uh, using his SCVs as he does every attack because he sends a couple of SCVs with the attack to try to repair the Thors and try to repair that mech. And this is uh, turning out into quite, quite the game as... Uh, as you know, Dystar does not want to let Biggs, you know, win because Dystar needs to win this one to tie it up. And